Hi, I'm Katie, and in this video, I'm going to show you some best practices that I found in using Adobe Spark with Canvas LMS. We are loving Canvas in our district this year. It's been so helpful. And any way that we can keep students inside the LMS or connected to the LMS in doing their assignments is a plus. So Adobe Spark does have an LTI integration, and I'm going to show it here. But I'm also going to share some best practices that I found for helping me when utilizing Adobe Spark in Canvas. So here I am in Canvas. It's easy to make an LTI assignment. Your, your district admin would need to install the Adobe Spark LTI. Um, our district has done that. And so I'm going to create an assignment and let's say Adobe Spark example, add item. All right, so I love using the Adobe Spark LTI when I want to give my students a template to work from. If I'm just going to have my students create something in Adobe Spark from scratch, I find that a web URL assignment is best. But if I'm going to make that uh, LTI assignment for a template, this is what I would do. I would first add any rubric that I wanted to first. So add the rubric first, then add edit. And then you are going to complete all this information as you would. And from submission type, select external tool. I'm going to click find. I'm going to select Adobe Spark. Once I do that, this window will open and it's going to show me everything that I've created. So I'll see all of my own projects here. Every time I use an LTI tool, a folder will get made. So if um, you can see, I've used it with several classes. So I have different folders. Every time a new LTI assignment is made, a new folder is created for that class. And I'll show you that in Adobe Spark as well. So if I wanted to attach a, a template, so maybe I make a Adobe Spark page and I've added the different section headings that I want them to include in their project. And I just want to provide some more scaffolding and support for my students. Attaching a template for them to start from would can be great. What they're going to be able to do is click make a copy and they'll get a copy of that template that they can then edit themselves. So each student will get their own copy. So I'm going to click attach. I don't like using this with a new option, but I certainly can select a blank document and having them, but I find a web URL submission assignment is better for that. And then I'm going to say select, and then I can do all of my due dates. And then I just need to save and publish. This is what it will look like on the screen for a student. The student will have this make a copy button. They'll be able to click it, make a copy, a new copy will open, and they'll be able to, like I said, fill this in and edit their own version of it. So that can be really helpful. Going back to Adobe Spark, like as I said, you'll be able to also see any student projects created from LTI projects here in your projects area. You'll see a folder created for each assignment that you've created an LTI for. And then when you go into that, you'll be able to see all of your student work It's automatically shared with you here. So that is a really great way to see work in progress and give any feedback during the creation process. Now, as I said, I really prefer the, the file web URL submission. Uh, when students submit a URL, it shows a beautiful and speed greater. So all I like to have students do is create their assignment if they're starting from scratch, click share, get publish and share link. Always make sure to make sure they've done the update link. So you want them to make sure they get all their recent changes. So click update link. And then they would copy the link that is generated and turn that into a web URL assignment. So you're not going to create an external tool assignment. You're going to create that web URL. They'll just turn in the link and it will be beautiful in SpeedGrader for you. So hopefully this video has been helpful about how to use Adobe Spark and a Canvas LMS. And please feel free to leave us any questions.